Well, as I was just leaving my spot, I came across this plant. Now this looks an awful lot like a blueberry plant. But I don't know for sure. It doesn't look like a huckleberry. But it could be. I'm not sure. There are a lot of berries on here. They're far from ripe, but, you know, they might not even be edible. Um, this looks very unique. I'm not sure what this is. If you look right down here, you see a rose bush, which has a similar look. What's left after the roses have bloomed are the rose hips. Depending on the type of rose, the hips are very, very high in vitamin C, and you can cook them up into a tea, especially if you're in need of some vitamins. But here's one unique thing that I learned about uh, rose bushes. If they have straight thorns, they are likely a native species. And if they have curved thorns, they are probably an invasive species that was brought here. This one's very hard to tell, but the thorns look relatively straight. And since it's out here, I'm going to guess it's a wild rose. The last bush I have up here, besides this one, I think this might be choke cherry, but I'm not positive. I still have to identify this. Um, was this one right here. And I found one of these by my campsite. It's called Sopalali. <laughs> and the reason is because these little berries, if I can find some, these little red berries, if you put one in your mouth, you'll know why it's soap lolly. <laughs> they actually taste like soap. But the interesting thing is, if you move, move them between your fingers, they froth up like soap does, and they actually clean. <laughs> so you can use these for scouring your pots and pans or your hands. Just don't eat them. They're not very tasty. I was surprised to find this many little berry bushes next to each other on the way up the trail, but... Uh, so many different kinds. You can always identify a vetch. A vetch is a type of pea, wild pea. Um, this one, I can't tell which type. There are so many different kinds. But they always have those alternating elliptical type leaves. And you can almost always pull one up and see the little wound up coils. Where the pea wants to grab onto something. And uh, the American vetch is like that, but it's a little smaller, smaller leaves. And then, what do we got here? Well, here's a unique little friend. And that looks very familiar. That might be a vetch. Yes, it's a vetch, see? Those are the peas on it. Vetches all have pea-like leaves on them. So, hope you've learned something new today. I know I have. I've learned definitely don't leave your toilet paper on the trail, because that's not appealing. <laughs> so I think I've identified all the plants in this area now. Well, all the ones that I can, anyway. I'm going to continue along my journey, even though I see this shit all over the place. Not everybody is respectful in nature.